What's up YouTube, Mr. Computer Answers here today, and today we're going to be going over how to make a Minecraft 1.1 server. This is the new game release of Minecraft, and because actually I have made an, uh, another video of how to make a 1.0 server, but actually that video is out of date because of the new update, and this video will be showing you guys how to use a technique that will work for all future servers, I believe. <laughs> but it will. Trust me. Anyways. So to start, let's go ahead and make a new folder in our desktop, and let's call this um, new folder. Let's call this Minecraft Server Tut. Okay, so let's go ahead and open that up into the browser, and at the current moment, there's nothing in it. So, what we need to do is go ahead and go into our internet browser, which is or it could be whatever you use anyways just go ahead and open it up and go to the link it'll be labeled craft bucket and go to that link and I'm not sure currently whether they not or whether or not they keep this site updated to the latest jar not sure but if they do that's cool if not I'll have that link updated anyways go ahead and click this and download save it and it should download so when it's done downloading, we'll go into our downloads and find it. So it's right here. It'll say something like this, or whichever future version you guys could be using. So 1.2 if it comes out later, you know. Anyways, so let's go ahead and take this and drag it on into here. And here would be our server, Minecraft server tutorial, which is your server folder. You can name it whatever you want. Next. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into Notepad or Notepad++. That's what I'm going to be using because it's easier to see the line of lines of code you're on. But we're going to be going into that, and we're going to be using a uh, simple code. And so let's go ahead and open it up. So this is what it is. Pause is saying CMD to pause. This right here is basically the directory of where the Java program. I guess you could call it, is located. Now, I've been, I've been getting so many emails, which in all the problems usually relate back to misnaming things, and I'm going to make this video uniform so it'll work for always, like all the time, whereas my last video, it didn't, which caused so much confusing. Confusing? Huh. That doesn't make sense. Confusion? Would have been a better. Probably should just cut that out, but I don't know. Anyways. Which... It all should be named this Minecraft server, which I have here. So, let's go ahead and save this. By the way, this will be in the description, so you can just copy and paste it. You don't have to, like, type it completely off of the screen, you know, because that's kind of annoying when people do that, and they have description just, like, one word. Definitely don't like that. Anyways, so let's go ahead and save it into our server folder. So let's go ahead and navigate to that. This would be our folder. Go ahead and open that up. And it should be blank right now, and we'll scroll up, and we're going to save it as all types. I believe with Notepad++ you can save it. Yeah, you can save it as a batch file, but anyways, that was like a lot of blabbing and not a lot of informing. So, back to informing. We're going to be saving it as start.bat. Start batch file. Batch files are opened in command prompt. Command prompt is that little black window you see all the time. So let's go ahead and save that. But remember, in this start.bat, which is this, same thing, this right here, Minecraft server.jar, needs to be the same name as what your craft bucket server is. Because it's asking Java to access Minecraft server.jar, which isn't in existence. So if you get like an error that's saying could not access blah 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 blah, it's probably because your name is off. And so, simple fix just go ahead, craft bucket server here, go ahead, rename it to exactly what you have up here. So, Minecraft server, and go ahead and hit enter. So now, when we double click this start.bat, it'll open in command prompt, which is this black window, as I just told you guys. 
It'll be slow at first, but it'll get faster later. And it should it it's completely normal. See these warnings up here? Completely good and normal. Well, maybe not good, but you know how. But normal. Because it's saying, okay, wait, I couldn't find these. But it can find them now because when you first run this Minecraft server dot jar, it creates them. So, anyways, it won't work for other people right now. For my, if you tried logging into your server right now, it wouldn't work because it's not port forwarded or Hamachi or whatever you do. Uh, but you can. This is a local server right now, so you can go into multiplayer, direct connect, and just type in local host, and it will work. If you spell things right, then it will work. Of course, it will be no lag and texture pack error there. Probably should fix. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, so it should be no lag because the ping between it's like literally staying between your computer. If that makes any sense. Anyways, no lag. Only lag would be chunk data loading. So let's disconnect. And next step is port forwarding. So, to start off, let's go ahead, you know what, actually, I totally forgot a step. To start, let's go ahead and get a new Windows command prompt, just kind of lagged out on words, I guess you could say there. <laughs> um, and let's go ahead and type in Java version, enter, and you can have 1.6 or 1.7, both will work for this. This is standard edition here. So if you get an error, like a message saying that it cannot be rec recognized as an internal or external command, something along those lines, then you most likely don't have Java installed or you're doing something wrong. Make sure it's all lowercase. I don't know if command prompt is case, case sensitive, so go ahead and tell me if I'm wrong. but. Um, basically, go ahead and go into your Internet Explorer. If you did get that problem, not recognized as internal or external command, and just type in Java. You know what? Actually, this link is going to be in the description. So you're just going to go here and download it. So uh, it may look a little different. I don't know. I might link you to the uh, 1.7. I don't really know. But anyways. Back to what we're supposed to be doing. We always get off task. How do I always get off task all the time? Anyways, um, so from now, from now, uh, we're going to be port forwarding. So go back into your other command prompt because if you try doing all of these uh, command lines into your server command prompt, then you're gonna have issues. So let's go ahead and type in IP config, go ahead and hit enter. Okay, so now the main things that you're going to want to be paying attention to are the default gateway and the IPv4 address. Now, some people have emailed me and they're like, what's wrong? And I can't find my IPP IPv4 address. Wow, that's kind of like a tongue twister. But anyways, it, like you could be looking down here and obviously that's not going to work because uh, like what's two colons going to do in comparison to two number, not, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> numbers. Um, <clears throat> anyways, once again, off task. Uh, so, default gateway. Take your default gateway, kind of take it in your memory, memorize it. Uh, yeah, you can't copy and paste it, so just kind of like write it down, memorize it, do whatever you need to be done. And go ahead and open up your Internet Explorer, Internet Browser, so on and so forth, and go ahead and type that thing in. So, 192.168. 168.0.1 and they should all be starting with 192.168 because that's just the way it is. Now, I believe if you have an Apple Airport router, the port forwarding whole idea is completely different. So, that's your own business because honestly, I don't even know. Anyways, so we type this in, hit enter, and this brings you to your router's website. Now, here it's going to be asking you for us or usually it's going to ask you for a username and a password. Now, generally, the username and password are on a sticker on the back of your, of your router, somewhere on your router. It'll be there along with your router 192.168 number. But 
It's usually something stupid, admin, like admin and admin, password and password, something dumb. But if you don't know what it is, you can go ahead and go into portforward.com and go ahead and go to this site here. And here's like a bunch of routers. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of them here and click here to skip the advertisement. And it's going to bring you to this page. And you want to scroll down to find the game that we are trying to port forward for being Minecraft. So find Minecraft server and it'll give you exact instructions on how to port forward for your specific router. And as you can see, it also tells you what the default username and password is. Now, <clears throat> uh, if the p default username and password is not correct, you probably, or someone probably changed it. So, ask someone, ask around. No, good luck. So mine happens to be admin and no password. So let's go ahead and log in here. And sometimes these sites are fairly confusing, but to just navigate around them. And as you remember, at portforward.com, it tells you exactly how to port forward for your specific router. So uh, I'll navigate to mine. And it's right here. <coughs> and as you can see, I already have some, or one, already in use right now so I'll just go ahead and disable that and I'll enable a new one we'll call this uh, Minecraft tut which of course you can guess stands for tutorial because this is a Minecraft tutorial and so let's go ahead and open up CMD and I open up the wrong CMD make sure you open up not your server one uh, you know what actually go back to your server CMD and a simple command for when running your server jar just go ahead and hit stop and it saves the chunks and ends the server so I'll go ahead and hit stop and close it so anyways back to the IP config CMD now take your IPv4 address and basically take it in your memory remember it and we're gonna be putting this into the IP address so 192.168.0.193 go ahead and check that that's correct so now let's go ahead and name it oh wow what a mistake I put in the wrong one what are we gonna do okay so that error seems to be fixed. So now, the TCP and UDP are actually the port that is going to be forwarded. And to be honest, I don't know what they stand for, so feel free to inform me what they stand for. Anyways, this, I feel like this tutorial is going like way over the top in length. So we're going to go ahead and put in 25565 and 25565. Uh, Make sure you, you did it right. And go ahead and save the settings. Your router is going, actually, no, you know what? cancel that, backslash, strike that, whatever you want to say, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, mine has to reboot, don't know about yours. Anyways, so, now that you've port forwarded, or supposedly for port forwarded, go to this open port check tool, which will be in the description once again, and wait for your, like, wait for my router to restart, because you're watching the video, and I have to wait, and... So yaddy yaddy yaddy, uh, yaddy. What's a yaddy? Anyways, uh, anyways. So the page restarting, and when it restarts, we're gonna go back to our Minecraft server folder, and now we're going to click the start.bat. It's gonna start the server, and as you can see, it is running on Minecraft 1.1. Now we're gonna go to this open port check tool, and remember you must be having your server running before you go to this website otherwise it won't work so type in 25565 and I did it again 65 and go ahead and click check and if you did it right it'll say open if you did it wrong and it says closed go ahead and email me at mrcomputeranswers at gmail.com that will be in the description and 
your public IP that you put into Minecraft that you give to all your friends to join your server is this number right here. So, if we go ahead and go into Minecraft, go in multiplayer, go ahead and log on in, we'll see that it is in fact working correctly once again with the texture pack error. Everything seems to be working. And it is. So, that is like pretty much done, I think, for this tutorial. I'm just going to try and double check to make sure. Uh, I think I included everything. But let's go over one last thing. So I'm going back to my server folder. Just to clarify, uh, ops. You want to usually generally, usually generally, add yourself into this list. So save it, close it. And so now you're an op or an OP or whatever you want to call it. Now in order for this to take effect, you have to go into your server and go ahead and type in stop. And then you hit a key and we'll restart the server. And now you're going to be an OP. So if we go ahead and log in, now you should be able to access commands um, and as you can see I messed up so game mode your name and now you can fly around and guys uh, so I'm going to be releasing a tutorial on all of the basic and as you can see other people can join the game but anyways uh, I'm gonna be releasing a tutorial on uh wow my mind is just like blanking out right now but I'm gonna be releasing a tutorial on all of the basic plugins of Minecraft so I'm talking like how to use them how to install them how to do permissions for them how to make admins how to make mods all that good stuff so very exciting tutorial coming very informative informative and I'm really excited for that, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and fix my server because people are questioning, and I think that's about it. So if I helped you guys out, go ahead and subscribe because it really does help you guys. Uh, once again, I'm not going to be uh, replying to comments because very difficult. YouTube messaging, very, very difficult because you can't see the threads. So email me. Email me is the best way. I don't check uh, YouTube messaging that often. So email. 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 Email.